Welcome to our channel. Listen to short audiobooks every day and improve yourself. Hagakure, The Secret Wisdom of the Samurai by Yamamoto Tsunetomo Translated by Alexander Bennett In an age where rapid change and complexity often overwhelm and confuse, finding guidance in historical wisdom can be a surprisingly effective strategy. Bushido, the rich tapestry of the samurai ethos, is one such font of knowledge. It's important to highlight that the world is a very different place today than it was during feudal Japan, and not all the insights Bushido has to offer are applicable or appropriate now. However, there is still much to be gleaned from the lives of the warriors who mastered the art of serving with grace, honor, and resolve. We'll explore lessons from this famous historical treatise. Along the way, you'll learn about the intrinsic qualities that define a true warrior's spirit on and beyond the battlefield. Qualities such as readiness for defeat, loyalty that goes beyond mere service, and the importance of self-mastery. You'll also discover how embracing mortality can free us to live more fully, the significance of upholding one's duties with utmost respect, and how personal development is inextricably linked to our contributions to society. Although few, if any, of us live lives reminiscent of the legendary samurai today, no doubt most of us could do with cultivating more wisdom, compassion, and courage to maintain balance and integrity amid our loud and turbulent modern world. Book 1 In the heart of a true warrior lies not the anticipation of victory, but the readiness for defeat. This profound understanding forms the core of the Bushido ethos, where the fulfillment of one's duties is intricately linked to the acceptance of death. Embracing this concept, samurai are advised to rehearse their own demise morning and night of each day. This practice, far from morbid, is intended to instill a sense of freedom and focus, allowing the warrior to execute their responsibilities flawlessly, unencumbered by the fear of mortality. Of equal weight to the samurai way is the relationship with their lord. Warriors are urged to keep their lord at the forefront of their hearts, symbolizing loyalty and dedication that transcends mere service. From the proper handling of their lord's possessions, viewing them not as items for personal use, but as sacred objects imbued with the lord's spirit, to the tactful offering of guidance, conveying such communications in a manner that encourages acceptance rather than resentment. Attention and deep consideration must be given concerning duty to one's Lord. Similarly, organization and preparedness are highlighted as virtues that set the most respectable samurai apart. By meticulously planning for future encounters and maintaining a keen awareness of social etiquette, the warrior ensures they are always a step ahead. This preparedness extends to personal conduct, where, even in leisure, such as while drinking, the warrior remains vigilant and conscious of the impressions they leave on others. In sum, the first book in this tome of Bushido wisdom emphasizes that a samurai's life is captured not in the pursuit of honor or riches, but in the mastery of self, service, and the unrelenting pursuit of excellence. Through accepting mortality, maintaining loyalty, and committing to continuous improvement, the warrior navigates life's challenges with grace, unwavering resolve, and integrity. This journey, marked by the balance of strength and compassion, culminates in the realization that true victory lies in the quality of one's character and the impact of their deeds. Book 2 According to the Bushido ethos, three virtues form the cornerstone of a well-lived life. Wisdom, compassion, and courage. These three virtues are deemed particularly pivotal during periods of prosperity, when true warriors stay vigilant while others slide into complacency. Wisdom is cultivated through the simple but profound act of listening, especially to the words and stories of elders, a pathway to boundless knowledge. Compassion, a selfless orientation toward the well-being of others, demands action for the sake of societal harmony rather than personal gain. Courage is the resolve to face challenges head-on without faltering before the repercussions of one's actions. This internal pursuit for a balance of serenity and strength 
is also reflected in a samurai's external presentation, that is, their appearance, speech, and handwriting. Anything but a vain endeavor, the most respectable samurai strive to have these outer expressions convey the discipline and refinement of their inner world, just as they strive to maintain a pure mind while diligently fulfilling their physical responsibilities. Again alluding to the importance of acceptance of death, as emphasized in Book 1, life is described here as emanating from emptiness, calling for a profound understanding of one's purpose and capabilities. Pride in one's character and abilities is encouraged, but so is the humility to recognize and overcome personal faults and shortcomings. Growth is viewed as continuous, demanding constant self-scrutiny and the willingness to confront challenges with zeal. In this way, tremendous value is placed on facing and overcoming hardship. Through adversity, warriors unlock vast reserves of resilience, confidence, and capability within themselves, equipping them to serve the greater good in such a fashion that transcends mere duty. Books 3 to 11 In navigating the complexities of loyalty and service as a samurai, understanding the types of warriors and where one sits within these categories is crucial. Broadly, there are four types, based on responsiveness and execution speed. These are the rare, swift swift, who both comprehend and act quickly, the sluggish swift, who are slow to understand but quick to act, the common, swift sluggish, who grasp quickly but are slow to execute, and the least desirable, sluggish sluggish, who are deficient in both aspects. All respectable samurai should be working toward becoming one of the first kind. But beyond martial prowess, genuine loyalty and service extends to the intellectual and moral realms. For example, correcting a lord's mindset, after thorough personal reflection and seeking valid counsel, is viewed as a momentous act with the potential to ensure the stability of the entire domain. Yet, this type of service requires a deep, sustained commitment rather than the fleeting bravery displayed on the battlefield. Thus, cultivating this enduring, all-encapsulating bravery is fundamental, particularly in young samurai-to-be. From an early age, boys should be schooled in the arts of valor and respect, learning not just the skills of combat, but also the subtleties of etiquette and self-control. Similarly, young girls must be taught the virtues of modesty and propriety establishing boundaries in their interactions to maintain their dignity and honor. The import of personal development extends into moral teachings as well. Warriors rising from humble beginnings should never lose sight of their origins, a reminder to maintain humility and perspective regardless of their current stature. It is also suggested that samurai and Buddhist monks pursue companionship as service for both demands courage and compassion. Therefore, samurai can teach Buddhist monks the former, while Buddhist monks can teach samurai the latter. In parallel, a life well lived is described as one of vigorous application in youth, followed by restfulness in old age, likening the stages of life to the natural progression from activity to rest. These final books emphasize again that the essence of mastery in both life and service is the triumph over oneself achieving personal victories through self-discipline and the mindful application of one's values and strengths. And it is this pursuit, not the accumulation of notoriety or riches, that lies at the heart of the true Bushido way. Hagakure by Yamamoto Tsunetomo You've learned that the secret wisdom of the samurai reveals that honor, loyalty, and confronting mortality enrich life with depth and purpose. The Bushido philosophy encourages samurai to lead lives marked by courage and integrity, deliberate actions and unyielding virtue, and an embodied understanding of life's impermanence as an inspiration to achieve personal excellence. This guidance not only fosters a legacy of dignity, but also uplifts the spirit, steering toward fulfillment in the journey of life.